And there were products that are coming, growing from wild. And then we realized that, hey, uh, I want to buy a product. Uh, what kind of a feature do I need? Another one of the things that I have done is the feature analysis. So we have about a half a dozen of, of products. And the standardization are really building a consensus we brought from a matured uh, technology that are ready to be standardized where people say, do I buy IBM or do I buy Oracle or shall I buy a cheaper one? Uh, this kind of a decision started emerging. And the selection of a, uh, I mean, how, how many variety of, of, of application you can build on top of a software uh, foundation, what I call database management system, uh, it, it is too varied. And so you want to have some sort of a standard so that your application can work on different platform. We work with files and we call it the file system. The files were hierarchical. There was the IMS. Uh, the IBM information management system, which is a tree structure, and the debate was going on whether there should be a tree or a network or flat file, and we are still debating whether the data have a self-describing tag, and later on we known it as a metadata, and now people call it the schema. So um, the database system study group come up with a reference model or a specification for a minimal functionality of a database management system. In order to be a database management system, you want to be able to store data, retrieve data, modify data, uh, organize data, uh, delete, uh, manipulate data, and it becomes a spec. And during that time, there was a birth of a, we initiated a birth of an NC group. It's now called NSIGHT. The NC is Na American National Standards Group, and it's called the X3H2, of which the, the Don Deutsch and uh, people like uh, Lang Gallagher uh, all participated in that. That group is called the Data Management Language. In order to standardize anything, uh, you realize that you can have a lot of uh, light bulb, for example. You can have red light bulb, white light bulb. The only thing you want to standardize is when you want to talk to another person, a communication a interface or a uh, 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 area where both of, uh, both of us have to understand a common vocabulary or whatever. So uh, the uh, uh, standard, the only standardization of a software system is not the capability but the language. And relational database at that time was uh, uh, IBM, Chris State, uh, and uh, uh, he's talking about normalization. He started talking about flat file, and he called it a table. And it's a very easy concept that everybody understands. So in order to retrieve a table, you say select from a column such as such, from a table of employee. And uh, there was a birth of a simple query language. Testing part is also a very important aspect of when you adopt the standard, you want to certify that the product conform to such and such version uh, of uh, uh, ISO standard, JTC1, whatever it is. 
So uh, that gets to be if you're otherwise your app won't work. Your application, let's say you build a student uh, uh, course record, uh, and no matter you you got an Oracle, you got a Sybase or Microsoft SQL, you want your application to work no matter what. And that's what the marketplace wanted to go. The user, uh, of course, Oracle or Microsoft, say, buy, my, buy my product. Oracle would say, buy my product. And in the procurement, you say, I want to be compliant with SQL. And so you have to have the conformance testing certificate. And we have the NAV labs. It's a laboratory that's certified and give you a validated product list. Of, here are the list of product that has been validated that they conform to it, and you can buy from that list. But there is a requirement. This is strictly user. You're buying because you're, you're paying the money, not us. Timing is everything. Uh, you can't standardize a thing too early or you drive a lot of innovative uh, concept away because people say, hey, there's no way for me to get into your market because you already yep. decided and uh, even though it's not very good, uh, uh, I, won't, uh, I won't get into that business. So you killed innovation. And if, you, if it is too late, uh, you miss the opportunity, you get too many variety of things coming up and, and the choice is too much. But of course, SQL is one of the success stories uh, that uh, NIST we have.